All right, everybody. How are you doing? Well, it's Monday, and I'm doing pretty good. You know why? Because Denny Hamlin picked up the big win at Homestead Miami Speedway. Were you watching yesterday? I know. It was a long day. You know, Miami. I grew up there. I grew up in Miami, so I love Homestead. I love watching everything that's going on there at the track. And uh, let me tell you, though, one thing I know about Miami is that it rains a lot when it's hot in June. And so we had some issues. Got It was a long day, but when it came down to it, we got the race in. My kitty cat here is trying to join me and cause some trouble here, but maybe he wants to draw along too. But uh, it was a good race, don't you think? That track has such a great, uh, a great layout, great surface area, good racing. And one thing that I think is great about that track is the trophy. Now this is the first time I've seen this trophy, so let me show you a picture of it here. I'm going to throw this up onto my iPad, and I'm going to show you the trophy that Denny Hamlin won here. Should come through any second. There it is. Can you see that all right? Look at that thing. So this is a picture that one of our crew members, Sean, sent us of the trophy that they just won. You see we're in the hauler, in the lounge. There's Denny's helmet that he just got done using for the race. And there's the trophy. Look at these Art Deco. That's what they call that style. Art Deco designs with the palm tree and the flamingo, and the Miami sign, the victory lane. So I think we're going to draw that trophy because I really liked it. And we'll put the number 11 FedEx Camry in the background since it was so fast and did such a good job. All right, so I'm going to put Mr. Kitty Cat up, and I'm going to open up a blank sheet of paper, and we are going to start drawing. Are you ready? Who's out there, by the way? Before I get, get drawn, I want to see our comments while you're getting prepared. I see Matt's out there. Matt's wondering when we're going to open up. Still don't know Matt. Still playing it safe here in North Carolina. Staying at home, staying safe. Hope you all are as well. I'm sure we'll get opened up here before long, but better to stay safe right now. All right. Let's start drawing this trophy, and we'll put the race car in the background, okay? All right. Start a new page. And what I want you to do is I want you to draw a base like this. My pencil working here? Are we working? Are we working? What's going on here? Oh man, I don't know that my pencil's working. I might have to draw with my finger today. All right. Let's see here. A little technical difficulty here. Let's get it charged up. Thought I had it charged. Show you another picture. See, what we're going to do is we're going to draw this part of the trophy looks kind of like a sword, doesn't it? And we've drawn a sword on this show before. Then we have to draw a flamingo. I almost called it a pelican. It's not a pelican. And then a palm tree. So, let's see if my pencil is now working. Hopefully it is. And it is not. Oh! <laughs> you ever have kind of a rusty Monday where things just aren't going like you want them to? Yep, I don't know what's going on here. We might have to do a backup for the first time in the show history where I'm going to actually draw on real paper. Won't that be crazy? Oh boy. Can't believe it. Pencil's not working. Maybe the cat was chewing on it. You think that could have been the problem? Cat was chewing on my pencil? Let's see here. Yeah, I don't know. All right, maybe it'll let me draw with my finger. Nope. Well, we have some issues here. Technology, you know? We always have the best laid plans and then technology comes along and messes them up. One second, I'll be right back. All right, got our back up here. Guess what? We're not using the iPad today, we're using a Sharpie. Can you believe that? Good old Sharpie. So I'm going to be drawing just like you, I'm going to be drawing on my cardboard that I use here as a desk. Okay? So for this trophy, what I want you to do is I want you to draw a baseline right about here. Draw a baseline. Nice. Got that? I can't erase. I can't make any mistakes here. But that's all right. As we've learned in this show, mistakes are just part of making this picture look good. Then we're going to draw a rectangle just like that. 
What do you think? Looks pretty good. I've got these lines in the cardboard that help me draw a straight line. So there's always a bright side to this. All right, so we're going we're gonna to go up to about right here. So draw a little marker in the middle up there, just so you know where the top is, where you want this trophy to end. Next, what are we going to do? We're going to draw a palm tree. We've done this before. In fact, when we drew Homestead Miami Speedway with Kyle Busch's car, we drew a palm tree. But right about here, I want you to draw a curved line about like this. And then another curved line about like that. Okay? What do you think? That's the trunk of the palm tree. Who's out there drawing with me today? I gotta, I gotta check these comments, see who's out there. See if you're having a good time. I've got my cat in here causing trouble. You always notice that when you're trying to draw or do work or something, your cat likes to sit right where you're focused. Isn't that funny how they choose to do that? All right, palm trees then, all you have to do is you just have to draw some more of these kind of shapes, but in spikes like this. Look at this. See that? Kind of looks like a crab claw, doesn't it? And then come over here and draw another one. Oh, the cat likes this drawing so much, you know? All right, so then we're gonna do another one up here. These are the perils of working from home, you know? No cats in the office or the race shop. See these spikes we're doing? And the good thing is that your palm tree can look however you want it to look. All palm trees look a little bit different, so we're just going to draw what we think it looks best here. There we go. The palm tree is in the foreground of the trophy, so we drew that first. That means the front. You got the front and you got the back, the foreground and the background. All right, now I'm going to draw a straight line up to that dot. So go like this behind the palm tree and draw a line up there like that. All right. There we go. Next, we're going to draw a sword kind of shape, like a blade. It goes straight and then it swoops down like this. So watch me and then you can do it. Kind of like this. See how it's kind of like a knife? or maybe a surfboard and then draw another rectangle down there like that alright I thought this was such a cool trophy I just had to draw it we're gonna have it in our race shop at some point I can't wait to go see it once things are open back up and safe to go back it's gonna be a fun time seeing this trophy I grew up in Miami and this trophy just reminds me so much of all the culture and art and styles down there so I thought why not draw this today all right, as, as you're drawing yours, I'm going to read some comments, see how y'all are doing out there. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the, the retweets and the thumbs up and the hearts. Very nice. Look at that. Lots of people watching. A lot of Denny Hamlin fans out there like Janae. There's Sue and Amy, Amanda, and Jack. How y'all doing? Really good to see you. There's Mario and Sean. <laughs> Sean says the pressure is on. That's right. That's right, no iPad today. Alright, so on this trophy, it spells the word Miami on the side in blocks. And Miami is one, two, three, four, five letters. M-I-A-M-I. -I. Pretty easy word. So what I need you to do is draw five squares to the right. Okay? We're going to start down here and I'm going to draw one square right here. About like that. Alright? And we're going to draw four more. So one, two, three, four, all the way up to the top. Okay. So there's one, there's two. We want to make them about the same size, but if it's not perfect on your sheet, that's okay. There's three, there's four, and then there's five. Five squares all in a line. And you know what we're going to write in there? Miami. We're going to attach these squares to our little surfboard shape there. And now our trophy's coming together. We should talk to the artist who designed this trophy. They did a good job. All right, there's a couple more elements here. And I want you to draw a squarish kind of shape. Actually, we're going to do rounded rectangle. So all that means is that there's not 
there's not sharp corners, there's round corners right here. See that? See that rounded rectangle sticking out there? That's where they put the name of the race. And so you can put the name, whatever name you want on there, but I'm going to leave it blank for that name of the race. You can put whatever you want on there. This was a 400 mile race, but I am going to write 400 miles. Four, zero, zero. There we go. All right. The final element is a checkered flag. They have a cool checkered flag design. This is going to be a little challenging. You've drawn checkered flags before, but this one, well, let me show you. It's kind of, kind of uh, has some gaps in it that, that make it really interesting. So I want you to draw your, your S shape like this, and then make it kick out here like that, and then bring it down like this behind your palm tree like that all right yeah and then you know how to do a checkered flag you just draw some lines in here like this and a line like that bring it around here looking pretty good now because my iPad went kaput I'm not going to be able to color it in for you but that's all right you can do a good job coloring I'll tweet a photo of our, uh, I'll post it in the comments, I'll post a photo, in fact, let me do that while you are finishing up your checkered flag, I'm going to post this photo in the comments here, that way you can, uh, you can see the colors that we're going to use, alright, well it's a Monday, sometimes things go wrong on a Monday, a little, little uh, hazy, hey you know what though? We didn't only win one race this weekend, but how about Harrison Burton winning the race on Saturday in dramatic three wide and four wide uh, passes for the lead? I thought that was pretty awesome. All right, so I'm tweeting this. Here's our trophy for today. There you go. Tweeted that out there, so you can look for that when you want to color it in, okay? All right, we're looking pretty good here. We got to finish this trophy, and then we have to draw our race car. Now we're going to draw a flamingo. It's got to fit in here in this little surfboard blade part, so it's going to be kind of tricky. So we're just going to do it very simply with some simple lines. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a little almond shape, kind of like an eye. See that? Kind of like a little eye on there. And then we're going to do a neck, which is kind of an S shaped, like that. See how that's coming together? And then we're going to do one leg straight down, and we're going to do another leg over to make the number four. That's sometimes how a flamingo stands. I keep wanting to call him a pelican. I don't know why. I know the difference, but it's a flamingo. All right. So if you've drawn the number four, you can draw a pelican, or see, a flamingo. Draw that number four as the legs, then draw an almond shape and then draw an S as the head. See how easy that is? I know it's a little bit small on your screen, but I think you can do that. You can get it. Alright, after that we have a couple lines that come down like this. Very similar to the outside of the blade shape, but they're over here. They make some cool racing stripes. Very nice. And then one of the final things we need to do on this trophy is we need to write the word Miami in here. So it's M I A M I. And you can make a little box around those letters if you want to. That's how it is on the trophy. I think that looks really cool. They call that Art Deco style. If you've ever been to Miami Beach, you see a lot of that Art Deco style out there. Pastel colors, bright colors. All right. Well, we've pretty much got it there. But one more important thing on here we have to do is write winner, W-I-N-N-E-R. I'm going to write the date, 2020, the year. And we're going to write Denny Hamlin, D E. N, N, Y, space, H, 
A M L I N. And there we go. Now we have our, our race marked. And remember why we drew this picture? I remember Denny Hamlin's big win. I think that's one of the coolest trophies that we've ever won. What do you think? Now, I'm a little biased because I grew up in Miami, but, but you know, it's that's okay. Um, this is my show, right? All right. That's pretty good. And you can draw the race car in the background if you want to. Let me see if I'm going to do that. I think I think we should do that. How should we do it? I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm going to pretend like this trophy is sitting in victory lane. And Denny Hamlin is pulling into victory lane in the background, getting ready to celebrate, okay? So we're going to draw a small car. And it's going to be right here. And I'm going to do like this. I'm going to draw the front. Like that. So a line like that. And then I'm going to draw kind of the loaf of bread shape. You remember that shape we've drawn before? It's got the rounded corners, kind of like a bitten off candy cane there on the edges. See that? And then we're going to connect them. So you see why I say it's kind of like a loaf of bread. It's curved at the end. It's not a, a block or a brick. Well, that's going to be the front of the car. So get that in there. And remember, we're telling the story. We're in victory lane. We're standing right behind this trophy. And in is driving Denny Hamlin fresh off the racetrack to collect that trophy and celebrate his big win in Miami. So let's put the roof in there. That's going to be two angled lines like this and then a connection at the top. See how that looks like a race car coming towards you? Oh yeah. Next, let's draw a straight line for the grill and the headlights. So go kind of like this. It's actually not exactly straight. It's a little bit curved, but you get the point. A little bit like that. Sure's looking good. Next, draw some spikes at the end for the headlights. That aggressive Camry front end, like that. All right. Let me see how everybody's doing out there. Lots of fun drawing with you today. Lots of Denny Hamlin fans out there, I think. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you all are enjoying this. Thanks for all the comments. There's Gary. Sean's still out there. Oh, yeah. There's Debbie. You're welcome, Debbie. Thank you for drawing. There's Ben in Mississippi and Kathy. Thank you for watching. There's Ty. Ty says I need a haircut. That's true. I have not had a haircut since the stay-at-home orders started, but I just found out some really great news. Sport Clips is back open. Can you believe that? So I think I'm going to head to Sport Clips this week, and I'm going to get a little trim. Because it's starting to get hot out there. Okay, yeah, it's, it's a little too much to manage. There's a Marcy's out there. There's Mateus is out there as well. Thank you again for drawing with us. Thank you so much. All right, let's finish off this car. Draw a line like that to give our spiked front end to our Camry. And then I'm going to fill that in with black. Don't forget that little circle for your Toyota logo. There we go. Now, it's okay that this car is a little, a little simplistic, small, a little rough. It's in the background. Trophy's in the foreground, which is the front. The car's in the background, which is going to be a little blurry. It's going to be a little sketchy. That's okay. We know what it is. We're just telling a story by putting these different elements in it. The windshield's going to have some bars on it and the roof. See how I'm being quick? Now make sure you draw the tires in there like this. Little rectangles. Yeah. And then connect those tires with a line that turns into our shadow, which really makes that car look like it's stuck to the ground. All right, so there's Denny coming in. He's got some stripes on his car at the front like that, so you can put that in there. Purple and orange stripes. And I'm going to draw a little arm sticking out here with a little fist holding the checkered flag. See that? He's driving in there with his checkered flag, getting ready to celebrate with his... FedEx race team after a beautiful win last night. All right. Next thing I want you to do is I'm going to draw kind of a circle behind him. And I'm going to show you what I mean. It's going to turn into a road, but it's also going to be a kind of a design element. And it's going to look a little bit like the track. So here's what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to draw a line from the bottom of our trophy, and then I'm going to draw a big C curve like this. Look at that, it's kind of like the letter C, and it goes up here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to start at the bottom and draw a big C curve at the right side. Go up to the top. And that looks a lot like our racetrack shape at Homestead. But for us in our picture, it's kind of given the, the car a little track to drive on. And it's really just brought it all together, don't you think? I think so. I like that a lot. There we go. Whoop, there goes my phone. And just like that, our racetrack has come together. All right. Well, that's my picture for today. It was a little rough one today. Had some problems, but we had to overcome them. And we ended up with something pretty cool, I think. And I'm going to take some pictures. I might print that out so I can color it in, put it on my iPad. Or I could just uh, get some paints and crowns and color right here, couldn't I? Well, I hope you enjoyed this, this trophy, this Miami win trophy. Denny Hamlin and the FedEx team did an excellent job. I bet you did too on your drawing. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please tune in tomorrow. We'll have another great drawing. And keep practicing. Keep sending in your screenshots and your photos of your drawings. All right? Have a good one.